little champs. Welcome to Tinkerly TV. For more details, contact to below website. Hello little champs. Welcome to Tinkerly TV. For more details, contact to below website. Hello little champs. Welcome to Tinkerly TV. For more details, contact to below website. Hello everyone, Mr. Zudo is here. So welcome to Tinkersly YouTube channel. So hey guys, I'm Barbie and I'm back again. So friends, today I want to show you very interesting project that is a seven segment display. How we can display the numbers uh, that in a digital format uh, that I'm, uh, I have made that project, I want uh, to share with you. I'd like to share with you. So here I have using some electrical uh, components and made this project. It's a very interesting one. So let's see. I will click on start simulation. So zero, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, it start from zero, one, two. So, so on. So yes, friends, have you seen that's the digital numbers that we saw in many of the our electronics thing, how we can display such numbers uh, using uh, electrical components, how we will do the coding and uh, all this we are going to see uh, in today's journey. So let's start. So roadmap to the journey. So the first stop is introduction to seven segment display. So here, first we'll see what, what is the electrical component uh, that is the seven segment display, how we are going to uh, use it, what are their pains uh, and everything. Then what are the uses of seven segment display on very, where we are using this in actual life, where we have seen this seven segment display, this we are going to see then the third stop it's what are the electrical component we are going to use uh like so apart from the seven segment display what all the electrical component we will use to make this uh digital printing of the numbers like from zero to nine that we have seen so how we can do that and from that we will see what is arduino what is breadboard then the fifth stop is about the block and the text coding. So in this first stop, we will see that what is a block coding and what is a text coding and how we are implementing it. And finally, at the sixth stop, we are going to design our seven segment display circuit. So friends, let's start. So yes, our first stop is introduction to seven segment display. So I tell you about my story, how I got interest in the seven segment display. Once my father was uh, doing some work on the electrical things on a uh, component and friends, I know that uh, I'm getting interest now in uh, this electronic things in an IOT. So I was also standing with beside my father and checking what he is doing, how he is connecting. So I saw there is a multimeter where he was checking the flow of current and the connection is proper or not. There I, in the multimeter, I saw the numbers, the displaying of the numbers. So I asked my father that this is also a multimeter is also an electrical component. It is some device, how the numbers are displaying on it. So he told me that the numbers are displaying because of the seven segment display component. There is one more component which is able to display the numbers from zero to uh, nine. These numbers are going to display. So, okay, so what is seven segment display actually? A seven segment display is a form of electronic display device for displaying decimal number that is alternative to the more complex dot matrix display. So the dot matrix display was what? There is a dot, 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 dot. 
LEDs are there. If you want to print the number six, so in a curve, that number six is going to print in a dot matrix printer. The nine, like five, the in a curve. So in a dot matrix printer uh, display, what happens if we miss out any of the electrical uh, uh, connection, any of the LED connection, the number printing won't come properly. But seven segment display is quite uh, simpler as compared to the dot matrix. So in the seven segment display, we have uh, pins in a form of A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. With the help of this pins, we are able to display the number from zero to nine. This is how the seven segment display is used. So the pins of the seven segment display, what are the pins? So here the pins are like A, this is a pin A, which is helping glowing LED. Then pin B, C, D, E, F. And these are the seven pins. And with the help of the seven pins, we are going to arrange uh, the numbers from zero to nine. That's why it is known as a seven segment. Okay, apart from that, we have a two pins. That is a common pin, which is connected to the cathode. Okay, the ground. And, and there is one more pin, which is a DP pin. This is a DP pin. So DP pin is also one of the LED, which is always display pin, which is always be on whenever the numbers are printing. So this is the pin connection. And by using this seven pins, the using the seven pins, we are going to display the numbers from zero to nine. So second stop now, friends, where we use this of the seven segment display on various where we have used the seven segment display. So in, uh, when we went to the airport or uh, a railway platform, there we saw this kind of electrical watch where the numbers are displayed. So this is a seven segment display. So here the numbers are displayed in a seven segment form. Okay. And, um, even the platform number will come. All this can be uh, seen there uh, on that big, big, even you know, many of the uh, hospitals and all other things, we have seen this kind of display. So that is uh, one of the uses. Then even in the electric multi, uh, electric meter, the meter which we, uh, which uh, note down the units, how much we have used the electricity. Nowadays, this electric meter also uses the seven segment display. Even our calculator, they have the display of uh, seven segments. Uh, it is not a dot matrix, it is a seven segment. And yes, our digital watch, which is uh, used to display the numbers in a seven, which uses the seven segment to display the number. So these are the various uh, fields or uh, uh, where we can use this seven segment display. Now, the third stop, what are the electrical components we are going to use? If we want to make, if we want to display the numbers from zero to nine, apart from using the seven segment, which all electrical component we will we use? So yes, but obvious we will require this electrical component that is a seven segment uh, component. Then we require the Arduino, which is the brain of the electrical component. So we'll connect it and the Arduino will get the signals and that's how our Arduino will work. Now, the second is the breadboard. We will require the breadboard as well and the resistor. So these four electrical components we are going to use to display the numbers from zero to nine. So we already seen what is a seven segment display. Now we are going to see what is resistor. So resistor is, uh, is an electrical component which suppress or which oppose the flow of electric current passing through the component. For example, if we are using an LED and we don't resistor, and if we have given directly the nine volt or the five volt, our LED will get burst. It will get short circuit, means uh, the flow of current is so much from the LED 
that our device uh, is not working. Our LED got uh, burst, fused out. So for that, we use the resistor. So when we use the resistor with the LED, the flow of electric current is suppressed. It opposes. And that's why our LED is able to glow even on the 9 volt, even on the 5 volt. So like this, the LED, uh, the use of uh, resistor is to suppress, to oppose the flow of electric current. So depending upon the values, we can use a different, different type of resistors. Now, fourth stop is about Arduino and the breadboard. So what is Arduino and what is a breadboard? So introduction of Arduino. So Arduino is a brain of your electrical component. This is a processor. So whatever the signals, whatever the instructions you give, you give it to your brain, right? That is the Arduino. It is, uh, this Arduino is similar to our brain, human beings, human beings brain. We give the, whatever the signals we get, it goes to our brain. And then accordingly, we get the, we do the movements of our hand, legs and everything as an output. So here also in an electrical component, this Arduino is acting as a brain. So whatever the signals, whatever the input the Arduino is getting, they will generate it, they will process it and accordingly they will give the output. So this is very important. So. These are the digital, uh, so what are the pins of our Arduinos? So these are the, from zero to 13, are the digital input and output pin, where you can connect your any input device on this particular digital pin number and the output also, output device also you will connect on this particular digital pin number. Digital is like on and off. Either you will, your circuit will run, or either it will not run. It will be like on and off. It doesn't depend on any range. Whereas analog signal depend on a particular range. Okay, if it is getting the range from zero to th something like 200, the particular things will work like temperature sensor. If the temperature is between uh, five to 10 degrees Celsius, then the heater should be on or off. So it depends upon the analog so these are the two input output pins where we can connect our input and the output devices. Now there is a power LED. So whenever we connect our uh, Arduino with some power, like with our laptop or computer or with external power like battery or something, this LED will blink. It will on. Now another is very important microcontroller that is at mega this is a very very important microcontroller at mega with with because of this our arduino works properly if this got fused the arduino is also won't able to works so this is a very important uh in our arduino that ic this ic is very important now the another is the external power supply. So with the help of externally, like with the help of battery, uh, we can give the power supply. The another is the transmitter and the receiver LED. If something input is getting, this will this LED will blink and receiving. It's also this LED will blink. Now there is a USB jack which we can connect to our laptop or through our computer. And this is a reset button. So these are the about all about the Arduino. So Arduino is like a processor. It is a brain of the electrical component. Now, second is breadboard. Now, what is breadboard? So it is a rectangular plastic board. You can see this board is a rectangular plastic board with the tiny holes in it. These are where this is these are the very small tiny holes in that. This hole let you easily insert electronic component to prototype, meaning to build and test early version of any electrical circuit. Okay, so any like LED if you want, you can 
put this LED into this. If you have a piezo buzzer, you can connect insert into this hole and then you can connect with your uh, electrical component. So this is a rectangular. It is a solderless. We don't require soldering of this uh, breadboard. So it is. it can be reusable. This make it to use for temp, uh, creating temporary prototype and experimenting with circuits. So it is very important. We can, it is not, we don't have to solder it for temporary experimenting with the circuit. We insert the electrical component on this uh, holes. Like LEDs, the wires will be connected and we can generate the output with the help of this breadboard. It's like an extensions, uh, we can give it to our electrical component. And most important thing, it is soldering less. We don't have to solder it. So we can reuse it multiple times as much as we want. Once our circuit is working, if it is not in a use, we can again reuse by uh, dismantling the circuit and creating our new circuit with the help of breadboard. So now, fifth stop is, block and the text-based coding. You will be like, why Barbie is teaching the circuits and come to the block and the text-based coding? So friends, we have to do the coding to our Arduino. So to do the coding to our Arduino, we should know the two types of coding, the block coding and the text coding. So today we are going to do the coding in a form of text. So, but what is text coding and what is a block coding? How to use it and when to use it? What is the difference? So that we are going to see. So block coding is the most basic form of a computer programming. So easy to understand. This is a basic and very easy to understand. The uh, My friends also love the, doing the block coding and everything because we don't have to write the complex line. We don't have to write, we don't have to follow the syntax. We don't have to write the complex line of computer code. But with the help of just block coding, it's a visual instruction. It's a drag and drops. It already had that particular block has the instructions. So we can just drag and drop the simple blocks and we can create our coding. Uh, this is this kind of block coding. We used it in a scratch, even on the Tinkercad platform. So the, this is a very simple form of a coding for basic understanding of the basic form of a coding. Whereas text coding is a, it's a language we have to learn. It is not a drag and drop, but we have to type this language using a keyboard. There is no drag and drop. We have to follow the particular syntax, the icons, the labels, and whatever we are using, we have to very precise while we are using the text coding as compared to the block coding. So text coding like we use in a Python, Java, C, C++, all these are the text coding. That is, we have to learn this particular languages if you want to do the text coding. It's not like drag and drop. So these are the two types of coding, block coding and the text coding. Now, sixth stop is finally, we are at our sixth stop that is designing the seven segment display. So we will design the circuit, right? So we want to design the seven segment display by using all the electrical components and how we are going to design, how the numbers, how the pins we are going to connect, how, what are the pin connection for displaying the numbers from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How we are going to display these numbers. So let's discuss that first, and then we will do it virtually on our Tinkercad platform. So for example, if I want to print the number zero, so it is, this is this this is like we see it on a uh, seven segment display so we already discussed in a earlier the pins are a to g these are the pins and there are common 
which we connect to the cathode and one is a DP pin. So this pins are very simple. Now, which pin is what? So here, this horizontal line is acting as a A pin. This is acting as a B. This is C. This is D. This is E. This is F. And the middle line is a G. So these are the seven segments. So if I want to display the number zero, so I want my this LED should be high. So pin A, whatever we are connecting to the Arduino, the A pin number LED, this is also an LED. So this LED should be high. A will be high. Similarly, B LED will be high. C LED will be high. D LED will be high. E LED will be high. F LED will be high. Whereas G LED will be low. That's why the number, if we will make this all LED high, and G LED low, we are able to get the number zero. Similarly, if I want to display the number one, if I want to display the number one, so this is my number one. So for that, my A LED should be low, the B LED should be high, C high, this B, this LED will be high, D will be low, E will be low, F will be low, and G will be low. So I will able to get that number one. So now if I want to print the number two, for printing the number, the pattern is like this. If I want to get the number two, my pattern is like this. So friends, A, LED will be high. B, LED will be high. C, LED will be low. D, LED will be high. E, LED will be high. F will be low and G will be high. So we will able to get that two number. Now, if I want the number three, so A will be high, B will be high, C will be high, D will be high, E and F will be low and G will be high. So see like this, we are going to get the number three. Similarly, number four. For, for the pattern is like this. So for that, the A will be low, B will be high, C will be high, D will be low, E will be high, E will be low, F will be high, and G will also high. So like this, we are going to get the four. Similarly, for the five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So the for the five, A will be high. This B and E will be low. Rest other will be high. So let's see the pattern we are getting is number five. For the six, only the B LED will be low. The B pin connection will be low. The rest other will be high. For the seven, D, E, F, this three, pin numbers will be low and this will be high. That is A, B, C will be high. For number eight, all the LED will be high. Because the number eight are like this too. So all the LEDs will be high. And for the number nine, except LED E, all LED will be high. So we just understood the concept. We just understood how we are going to print the number and which LED we are going to make it high, which LED we are going to make it low. So we understood it. Now, on which platform? So yes, on the Tinkercad platform, we are going to do this uh, circuit design. So Tinkercad allows anyone to virtually create and program Arduino project without the need for physical hardware. So yes, here we don't have any physical hardware, but with the virtually, we are going to create this uh, the seven segment display circuit virtually on the Tinkercad platform. So friends, let's start. So this is a Tinkercad platform where we are going to make our seven segment display. So yes, we are going to click on circuit. What is a circuit? Circuit is a connection of an electronic devices, electrical component. So click on create new circuit. 
So this is a blank space. So this on this blank space, this is a workspace where you are going to design your electrical components by taking the various electrical components from here. So circuit designing will be done over here by taking various electrical components. Circuit is like connections of the uh, different electrical components. We say it as a circuit. So what all the things we require? Electrical components. The electrical components we already discussed. We require the seven segment display, Arduino, breadboard, and resistor. So these four components we will require. So let's take one by one the four component. The first one is the seven segment. See, this is the seven segment display. Take that. Now, what we want? Resistor. Okay, we have taken the resistor. Then we want the breadboard. So we have taken the breadboard and RD. That is a brick. So yes, we have taken all this electrical components. Now we have to do the connections. Let me explain you first with the seven segment display. So I already told you in a seven segment display, we have a 10 pins. Apart from that 10 pins, the seven pins are A to G. So see, these are the A, this is B, this is C, this is a D, this is E, this is F, and this is G. So these are the seven pins A to G. And we discuss if you want to display the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 we have to make this pins on and off. So low and high. Now the other is a DP pin, which is this pin, which is used to glow this LED. Now there is a common pin. So this is two are the common pin, which we will connect to the cathode. So now we are going to make the common cathode. So from here, I'm just changing it to cathode. So this is my common cathode seven segment display. Now, how we will connect it? This is my breadboard. Okay, I'm just look down. So this breadboard is has a tiny holes, right? So I will just arrange my this. So uh this has a pin here. Yeah, you can see this is a pin. This pins I have inserted on my breadboard. Okay, so this pins I have inserted on my breadboard. Now let's start with the connections. So first is a pin TP. So DP. I will just little shift it little up. Okay. So first is a DP pin. So DP from here I will take this already pin are inserted inside the tiny holes of the bread. Now I will take one of my wire from here. Bend it and I'm going to connect it to P number zero. This is my digital input and output pin. So on the Arduino, we know it that uh, these are the digital input output pins where the we can connect it. Uh, let me explain you the uh, Arduino as well. So yes, we have seen. So these are the digital input output pins. These are the down are the analogs input output pin. These are the power pins. This is the at mega microcontroller. This is on LED. This is a transmitter receiver LEDs. This is the external power supply. And this is the USB jack. And this is the reset button. So this is all about the Arduino. Let's start with our connections.
So yes, we have connected the first, that is DP pin to pin number zero. Now we'll connect the pin A. So I'll just bend it. By clicking, we can bend the wires. This is the wires. Okay, and if I want, I will change the color of the wire. Let's say orange. So it is for easy to understand. Okay, we'll keep the resistor little aside. We'll use it. Now I have done with the A. Now I will done with the B pin. So the B pin will connect it to the pin number three. You can connect it on any pin number, but for the understanding, for the synchronization, I'm connecting from zero to, uh, from zero onwards, you can connect it on any pin number. Okay, now I will change the color. And when I'm using the colorful, so that I will be able to understand, okay, this is all the pin numbers I have connected. Now this is uh, pin number C. So pin number C, I will connect to the pin number three. I will change the color to green. This is a common, common will connect letter. Now pin number D. D will be connected to the pin number four. Uh, let's see the color turquoise. We'll change this color also because it will mix up. Let's say we'll take a gray. Fine. So now it's looking nice. Uh, the uh, bending the wires will look nice. The connection look nice. Now we have done with the D. Similarly with the E, the E connection will connect it to pin number five. Change the color, say to blue. Now remaining are G and F. So first we'll connect the pin number F. We'll take it from this way. Already the there A and B's connection is there. So we'll take it from here. Click it, bend the wires. I will bend it again. Sixth, I will change the color. Open. Okay. Uh, now we have the pin G. So again, the G will be connecting. and change the wire color say, to brown. Okay, you can use any color wire, whatever you feel like. So yes, I have done my connections. You can see we have connected the DP. We have connected the A. Let's cross check once. It is connected to pin number one because the connections are important. Nay, else the coding will go in some other way if you don't remember it in a proper way. So A, we have connected to pin number one. B, we have connected to pin number two. Then the pin C, we have connected to three. Then D, we have connected to pin number four. Then E, we have connected to pin number five. F, we have connected to pin number six. 
and this is a G which we have connected to pin number seven. So yes, our seven segment, uh, which is the seven pins, the most important pin, we have connected. Now we remain with the common pin. As we have selected this as a cathode, so we have to connect it to the ground. So I'm just connecting it to the, like this with the wire, I'm chain making it as a black, and I'm using the resistor over here. Directly, I will connect it to the resistor. Fine, so it will get it. From here, I will take one more black wire and can I give the upper also. And from here, I will take a wire. Oops. Just wait, why it is jumbling. Okay. And from here, one more wire will go. So yes, we have done with the connections. It is looking very beautiful. Now it's time to do the coding. So we'll click on the code. And here you see there is a block coding. So this is known, we known as a block coding where we just drag and drop and give instructions to a circuit. But today we are going to see the text coding. So I will just remove this block of code. And from here, I will choose only text. So I'll just click on the text coding and I will click on continue. So after clicking on continue, there are two things. Uh, I can see this is a white setup and void loop. So white setup means whatever setups you have done, this line of codes you will write down here. An actual part of coding you will write in a loop. So whatever setups like pin mode of which pin mode of which pin number, all you will do on the setup, setup of your circuits and actual line of codes you will write in a loop. Now, I will first declare it. So first, int dp. So where I have connected my dp, I'm just using it as a zero and semicolon semicolon means the end of statement if i if i'm not giving the semicolon it will give an error if i'm writing i capital again it will give the error so the text is i told we already discussed that uh, text coding we have to be very precise while writing the text uh, coding because they have the syntax they have the format so we have to learn it so simple, we have to be very precise in dp equals to zero because we have connected to pin number zero. Int a equal to one because I have connected the pin a to this. So I'm just remembering instead of using one, two, three pin number, I'm giving the variables. So it will be easy for me to understand that A, B, C, D, and we discuss this already, which LED we have to blink high if we want to display the zero, if we want to display the number. So I'm using this a D, P, and A variable only and which on which pin number I have connected, I'm using that. So it becomes easy for me. So int b equal to two, I have connected to b number. Int c equal to three. Int d equal to four. Int e equal to five. And int f equal to six. And int g equal to seven. So we have designed it. Now we'll write the pin mode. So we'll write the pin mode. So pin M should be capital. This is what the syntax tell us about in a round bracket, DP comma. This is a output mode. We, we are not giving any input. This all are the LED working as an output. We, it is able to display. So DP is an output. So all will be in a capital output and semicolon semicolon means end of the statement similarly pin mode a comma output pin mode see i have written i'm small i have to be very precise when i'm writing uh text coding b comma output P 
be in mode c comma c is this mode the variable i will just copy and paste it and doing so much of control c after that control v this is for the d this is for the e this is for the f and this is for the g so i will just change it we have done with up till c we'll change it from here in d comma output in e comma output f comma output and g comma output so yes we have done it we have done uh, define our setups. What are our setups? That this is all pin numbers, the A, B, and C, D, which you have connected to the pin number zero and one, which we already told here. And this all are acting as an out. Now, the important part of coding, where we will write this coding. So here we'll write the coding. I have now first, first we want to display the number zero. So for displaying the number zero, this is acting as a A, right? This line is acting as a B. This LED is acting as a B. This LED is C. This LED is D. This LED is F. And this LED, uh, sorry, E. This LED is F. And this middle one is G. If you remember, C. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E, this is F, and this is a G. So we have already uh, done that. So let's see. Huh. So we discussed this is A. So if I want to print the number zero, so my A will be high. My B will be high, C will be high, then D will be high, E will be high, F will be high, and G will be low. So just write down digital right. Yeah, there's a comma, digital right. So D is small because we are giving as a writing, we are telling them we are not taking any input, we are not reading anything, we are displaying. So digital right, comma, DP is DP will be always high. So H I G H. Then digital right. A will be high. Digital. Then P will be high. GH digital right. What will be high? C will be also high. See, I forgot to give semicolon, else it will give me the error. Now, digital right. D will be also high. Digital right. E will be also high. Digital right. F will also high. And what about G? G will be. So let's write that and we'll check first. So digital write G comma low, L-O-W. And we'll give the delay, delay of two seconds. So for that, we have to write 2000 because it is a millisecond, milliseconds. So delay of two seconds we have given. Let's check whether it is able to display the number zero or not. Sorry, it seems like some error is there, right? 
See, I have forgot to write W, so it has given me the error. We are, I told you very, very precise. We have to, oh, yes, the CO has come. Now, similarly, we will write the number one. So, understood the coding uh, like this, we have to be, which P number should be high, which P number should be low. So, what I will do now for the P print, if I want one. So, for the one, this will be low, A will be low, B will be high and C will be high. So, one number one will come. So, what I will do, I will just copy this line of code. Instead of writing again and again, control C, enter, control V. Okay, see, you can see now. So this DP will be high all the time. So DP is high. A, we don't want A to be high. We want it as a low. So we'll change it and write it as L O W low. B will be high. C will be high. What about D E? All will be low. D will be low. Low. E is also low. F will also low. And G is already. So let's check whether 0 and 1 is coming or not. Yes, 0 has come. And after 2 seconds, 1 is coming. After 2 seconds, 0 is repeating. One is coming. Okay, the perfectly fine. Now we want to do the two. So for the two, this A will be high, B will be high, G will be high, E will be high, and C will be high. So yes, we'll write down the coding for two as well. Enter, control V, we already copied. So DP will be always high, A will be high, and B will be also high, C will be low. Let's do it. The C will be low. Okay. The C will be low. And uh, this will be low. This is F. So F will be low. And what about G? G will be high. So let's check. Zero. One, two, ah, perfect. So now we'll stop it and we'll write the coding for three. So for the three, what we have to do, A will be high, B will be high, G will be high, the C will be high, and D will be high. E and F will be low. So what we'll do, E and F to be low. And G will be. So now check it. Zero. One. Two. Perfect. And three. Yes, it is perfect. Now for the four, I want this LED should be high. That is F, G, B, and C. So, okay. We'll do that way. Control V. So DP will be always high. A will become low. B will be high. C will also high. D, E become low. D and E will become low. And F will be high and G will be high. Let's check. Let's check whether it is working perfectly fine or not. Zero, one, two, three, and four. So number four has also come. Now we want to display the number five. Control V for the five. This will be A will be high, F will be high, G will be high, C will be high, and D. So E and B will be low. So B will be low. Make it as a low. 
and E will also low, G will be high. Let's check whether this is working right or not. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. We are going step by steps. If we write it all, we'll get confused. So best is let's check one by one. If you want to display the number six, so F, A will be low, B will be low. And this all will be high. So make it as A and B low. And G will be high. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, for the six, we'll make A also as an I. So it will look nice. Okay, now if you want, we'll check it. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now for the seven, control V for the seven, A, B, C will be high, rest of them will be low. So, L, O, W, L, O, W. L O W, let's see. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and yes, eight. So eight is very simple. All the LED will be high. The control V. And instead of G, make it as a low and all will be high. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, and for the nine. For the nine, we want except E LED, all LED will be high. So finally, we are at the, our last except E, all will be high. So L O W and G will be high. Let's check whether it is perfectly fine or not. So zero has come, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Starting, keep on starting. One, two, three. So, yes, this is how uh, we can make the connections. According is a little lengthy. But it is simple if we understood the pin connections and everything. So this is all about the seven segment display. If you want to display the two digit number, you have to take the two components of the seven segment display. So yes, friends. So what we have taken away from this journey. So we have understood what is the seven segment display, the pins of the seven segment display. What are the uses of the seven segment display? Various fields we have seen, like digital watch, uh, electric meters, and so on, where we are using the seven segment display. Third, we have seen the about the electrical component that we are going to use. That is our Arduino breadboard seven segment display resistor. Then we understood what is the Arduino and the breadboard. We understood what is a block and the text coding. And today we have seen what is a text coding all about. How we write, have to be very precise while writing uh, the text coding. 
And finally, at the sixth stop, we design the seven display segment circuit. So this is all about the today. So this is Barbie now signing off. Please stay tuned. Bye, everyone. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. I am back again. Thanks for watching. Tinkerly TV. Subscribe us. Contact to below site for more details and queries. Hello. I am back again. Thanks for watching. Tinkerly TV. Subscribe us. Contact to below site for more details and queries. Hello. I am back again. Thanks for watching. Tinkerly TV. Subscribe us. Contact to below site for more details and queries.